last and final part of this mini series we will cover uh, fixes for the river and we will look at the final result first off we will look at the river material our river is not visible because the material is so so transparent so we will make it uh, more blue so that we can see a river actually also we will fix that the river is not um, broadened up this is easily done when we select the river we can scroll down there are several options also we have the options that we repaint the la layer beneath the river with the form landscape you see it here that's not what we want to see right now there is another option we are looking for it's start and end scale <coughs> and we will uh, we will make it broader here so that the river actually covers the whole riverbed 10 is not enough we have to go higher Maybe 25, maybe. Yeah, we have to make it 25. Now that's good. Now we see our river here, and also off the other side there is a waterfall. It's not very beautiful here because it's just a plain mesh. For demonstration purposes, I think it's okay. We re-simulate the procedural foliage tool here because there was an issue with the paint layer. We fix it and now we have a river. You can see the river floating freely without trees in the way. Yeah. That's about it. When we hit play here we will stand in the landscape and we covered all the topics you can see here foliage landscape material weight maps creation of rivers through splines import of height maps from geo tiff data shape files to weight maps shape files to rivers you should know how to do it now and Thank you for your attention. See you next time.